We join the Havasis on a journey from the scorching hills of Agora to Antanarivo to see animals found nowhere else on Earth. Madagascar wagtail is an endemic species that feeds on insects. Here's a peek behind the scenes. He is capturing a couple of common minas which mate for life. This kingfisher uses the bones of its prey in nest construction. Egrets and herons have been known to drop sticks in the water to lure fish. Maybe humans learned from the herons. Unpaired moorhens will actually help their parents raise their younger sibling. These Madagascar water dogs are better swimmers than any fish. When hunting, the black heron creates an umbrella with its wings to fool its prey and produce glare. The white-faced whistling duck is known to stand still in fear like a rabbit. Many of these birds are feeding right here in these rice fields. They supply not only the local community, but also the animals. The shorthorn chameleon is an endemic species, which means it's only found in Madagascar. And look, one got lucky and is chomping down on a beetle. These chameleons are very versatile and have been seen climbing trees on the ground and sometimes even digging, but always at a very slow pace. Whoa, look out you shorthorn chameleons. Pay close attention to the differences in coloring and patterning present on all these different shorthorn chameleons. Chameleons are actually able to change their color and patterning depending on their background or sometimes even their mood. No one camouflages like the mossy leaf-tailed gecko. Aww, how's this adorable little mouse lemur who specializes in eating fruit? This nocturnal mammal lives off fruits and leaf buds. The beautiful tiny frog can lay up to 150 eggs. He will thrust those spines along his back at any predator. Most frog species keep their coloration from childhood to adulthood, but this frog starts as a brilliant green baby and then turns into this beautiful brown adult. There are over a thousand species of stag beetle in the world. These frogs release toxins through their skin, however not enough to harm a human. Like all boas, these are very friendly snakes and have become a common pet. This astonishing family of butterflies have hearing organs at the base of their wings. Notice how he matches his color to the background. Now this is what the animals see. The highly intelligent and social Diademed Sifaka has two predator warning calls, a honk 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 for aerial predators and a Sifaka for ground predators. These funny looking insects feed on sap. Here's a predator for many of those lemur species, hanging out with a nice ant nest. The buzzard will have no chance to go after this lemur. He stands almost a foot taller than the buzzard and weighs a whopping 25 pounds. This nocturnal hunter feeds on bats and insects, but during the day, he is not happy to be woken up. Recent research suggests that Madagascar might have its own species of stone chat. Don't be fooled by the cuteness, these geckos have vicious territorial battles. The Rufus Brown Lemur is an incredibly friendly species, as you can see here. In some parts of Madagascar, they travel in groups of 8 to 12, in others, much more. Here you can see a mother with her baby, and you can tell that baby is under 3 weeks old because it's holding onto her stomach. Now let's enjoy how skillfully she leaps through the canopy. These beautiful sifakas are herbivores, eating seeds, berries, and nuts. The red ruffed lemur has the funniest haircut of all the lemurs in Madagascar. They also have a fascinating social structure in which four or five lemurs will inhabit a large territory and only come together to defend that territory. The black and white ruffed lemur can often be seen hanging upside down in this fashion, mainly because they love to grab fruits that would otherwise be out of reach. 
These highly social lemurs often spend time grooming one another, or communicating using scent glands located on their wrists. Mated pairs of the Shaber Vanga receive help from other individuals in child rearing. If you had trouble spotting that gecko, good luck with this mantis. Its camouflage hides it not only from predators, but also its prey. Here's an awesome look at the largest chameleon species in the world, the Parsons chameleon. Big and beautiful. Camouflage matches habitat, so the way something looks can tell you where it's going to be. This fabulous little chameleon never grows over 5 inches long. How's the coloration on this beautiful shorthorn chameleon? Very critical for the health of the ecosystem, these ants provide food for lots of animals and also help process a lot of natural debris. This bird mainly feeds on insects, but occasionally resin from the gum tree. My my, what handiwork! Of course, the Madagascar version of the pigeon is much more spectacular than our own. Female dwarf geckos lay two eggs every three to four weeks. You can see where this caterpillar has already eaten from all of these leaves. At home in California, we have a yellow and black version of this beautiful butterfly. Interesting to see that mesh of technology and usage of the land. All of these bricks were individually handmade using wooden molds. Talk about balance, composure, and strength. I also want to know what it says on that pamphlet. The beautiful shaking of this comet moth is actually to warm up its wings for flight. Rano Mofana means hot water, so this rainforest is famous for its hot springs. The mossy leaf-tailed gecko spends its entire day upside down on trees like this, and then at night the females go and eat lots of snails to restore the calcium they lost in egg production. Yum yum yum! This gecko's camouflage is so thorough that it even imitates the veins present on the surface of the leaves. This stunning butterfly has to watch out for. The incessant rains make trails very difficult to maintain. Delicious! This young Rufus Brown has found some very tasty leaves to snack on. Now we see a mother with her adorable little baby. And you can tell about how old that baby is because it's holding onto her back rather than her stomach, which is going to suggest that the baby is at least a month old. This lucky spider found some lunch. The spot on the side indicates that this is a peacock day gecko. This hilarious looking beetle utilizes that long neck to battle other males for females. This gorgeous armored lizard is known to eat fruit, not just insects. The thick, wet air promotes tons of biodiversity. This bird earned its name from the white ring around its eye. Unlike most snake species, the ground boa gives live birth, and those babies are ready to hunt as soon as they're born. Unfortunately, these wonderful sifakas are highly endangered, with only about 500 individuals living in the wild. They are a fascinating species, however, and are one of the only lemurs who are able to stand upright. This chameleon is getting a good stretch. The marbled rain frog spends the majority of its life underneath the leaf litter, waiting for the rain to call it out. That long tail is used for balance. Mouse lemurs are not very picky and will eat anything from insects to fruits to even sap in this instance. Females hibernate for most of the summer, 
while the males battle it out to establish a breeding hierarchy. This frog was described as a new species as recently as 2014. Usually, fertilized flowers turn into fruit, so how does this work? The long nose is present in both females and males of this species, and they can actually change the color of their nose. This camouflage totally fooled me. Watch closely, you can actually see the walking stick using its mandibles to eat this leaf. Here's another look at the blue-legged chameleon. I think that those blue legs might hinder its camouflage. The band-bellied chameleon has a very distinct line that runs laterally along its back. If you want to see these chameleons in the wild, look for young that always rest on the ends of sticks or plants at night. The average woman in Madagascar has at least four children. Maybe that explains this young population. And you have to feed those kids somehow. This wading bird is closely related to the pelican. These are humped cattle brought over from Southeast Asia. Here's a look at some of the expansive agriculture and some wood shuttling. Just make sure that you never cross the boss. I wonder what they're cooking. These chameleons have a very wide habitat range because they're able to change their color and contort their body to control temperature. Here's a quick look at the ring-tailed lemur, probably the lemur you've seen in your local zoo. The confidence and swagger present in this crow is admirable, but he has something to back it up. They are viciously intelligent and have been observed dropping nuts in front of passing cars to use them as a nutcracker. Recent research suggests that the radiated tortoise has two distinct personality types, one that doesn't react much to being handled, and another that releases a high amount of a stress hormone in the same situation. This iguana ferociously defends its territory by neck-biting intruders. Unlike most animals, the crested drongo actually thrives in deforested areas. The camouflage of this creature is beyond compare. Bouncing around back there is the Madagascar bulbul. Using a mark recapture study, scientists found that these birds live up to 10 years in the wild. These gorgeous frogs can be seen breeding in rice fields from November to May. Flatted insects often take over entire trees. Sometimes after mating, the female praying mantis will consume the male praying mantis's head, and he will wander around without a head. The intense red on the base of the wings details that this is a male. Spot the spider. This bird's hunting strategy makes it as intelligent as it is beautiful. According to some, this insect tastes like bacon. This bird works smart, not hard. It follows other birds as they forage and then swoops in to catch the leftover insects. These chameleons have been known to eat wasps, biting them exactly in the middle so the stinger falls to the ground. The ring-tailed lemur is a highly social species, often living in groups up to 30 individuals. It's usually run by one female, named the matriline. She decides where the group's gonna go, where they're gonna look for food and she's often backed up by close relatives and spends extra time grooming them. Those will usually be a sister or a daughter. This high sociality comes with a lot of different vocalizations. Lemurs have 22 distinct types of calls. For example, they will use the gulp call when a human is approaching. This bird has zygodactyl feet, which means two toes point forward and two back. Enjoy the beautiful orange and blue coloration.
Participation in territorial disputes depends on each individual Sifaka's interests. For example, leading males will need to participate in as many disputes as possible to keep their status, whereas lower ranking males might just decide to sit it out. The brilliant blue hopes that the eye spots on its wings will fool its predators. Look for an orange stripe on the throat to identify this skink. These daredevils grab bees mid-flight and slam them on the ground to remove the stinger. This aerial predator occasionally will feed on fledglings of other birds. That's why this crested drongo is trying its hardest to get it away from its nest. We all know the importance of medicine. And then when you're better, go do some karaoke. And for the last stop of the night, you can come get some fish. I can't guarantee freshness though. Hopefully this is not you after karaoke and fish. In the last 20 or so years, a new gold rush has occurred, except for sapphires in Madagascar. This involves a lot of very dangerous digging, going deep underground and having to dodge noxious gas. High risk, high reward. What good do the sapphires do him now? These insects will swarm entire plants and communicate with one another by vibrating the stems. For example, signifying that here are the nutrients. The beautiful white-browed owl is relatively unstudied, so we are very lucky that Alex is putting himself on the line to get this shot. We do know, however, that this owl loves to chase after bats. Even if they're huge like this guy, most Madagascar snakes are totally harmless. These beautiful owls will often roost together and spend the day sleeping with their mates. Here's a great look at the grooming behavior that many lemurs use to maintain status in their groups. This great tree, known as the Tree of Life, has been around since before the continents split off. The females of these geckos defend their territories just as ferociously as the males. A very similar interaction can be observed in California with red-tailed hawks and crows. The speckled breast details that this is a female. Only the males of this species have those long tail streamers. These trees can live 5,000 years. When in groups, these birds are very aggressive, chasing and pecking one another. This is unfortunately reminiscent of home. Take a moment and enjoy the beauty of Madagascar. This lizard has an incredibly sophisticated behavior in which it listens in to the alarm calls of the paradise flycatcher in order to stay safe from predators. Females forage in the ground while males forage in the understory. The fossa is the biggest predator in Madagascar. The males of these funny species incubate the eggs, while the females defend the territory. These astonishing looking birds use that long curved bill to dig and pull insects right out of the ground. The lovable brown lemur has a unique comb-like tooth structure that they use to groom one another and maintain hierarchy. The sickle-shaped bill is excellent for getting insects in those hard-to-reach places. The crested kua has a wonderful mating ritual in which the male brings some food to the female and then they take turns displaying and head bobbing. These mannequins are most likely looking for seeds in this grass. Mangrove trees grow directly out of the water. So this mixture of terrestrial and aquatic environments is a wonderful conduit for biodiversity. Over centuries, water has eroded the base of this rock to form this gorgeous mushroom. The fruit from these trees is packed with nutrients and highly valued among the people of Madagascar. The Madagascar fish eagle is an astonishing species. It loves dive bombing just under the surface to grab fish. Unfortunately, there are only about 350 members still alive, but thankfully we got a juvenile to carry it on. Look at that complex nest design. The females of this parrot species are very dominant over the males. The stealthy African darter swims around underwater, stabs a fish with its beak, surfaces, throws the fish in the air, and then gulps it down. Wow, 
stylish paint job. These Sifakas will use facial expressions to communicate, a half smile to indicate play, and a head back to indicate a predator. These are one of the few tool users in the world. They'll use small rocks or date pits to scrape calcium out of the inside of shells. Magpie robins will build nests using snake skin and animal hair. The sunbird only sits on its eggs for two weeks before they hatch, and then those birds are full adults in another two weeks. The palm swift glues its eggs to its nest using saliva. When flying in a large group, they all follow one leader. This bird reminds me of a mythical creature. If its fledglings are threatened, they will release a foul-smelling odor, or escape through a hidden passage in the back of the nest. Tortoises are sweet and intelligent animals, and can have a whole lot of personality. This buzzard hunts for snakes, chameleons, or sometimes even lemurs, by flying in pairs over the canopy. Notice the discoloration on the tail. That's a sign he dropped his tail to escape a predator. The brilliant colors of this locust are a hint to its poison. A truly unfortunate past. This beautiful baby will be weaned at about six months old, and at that point, it will enter the group hierarchy with the same status as its mother. Here we see the Shrike mid-call. The crested kuo will gallop through the canopy, searching for arthropods and insects, but sometimes it'll even enter another bird's nest and eat its eggs. Males are known to court passing females even while feeding their own offspring. The brave crested drongo will steal food right out of other birds' beaks, strikingly similar to our doves at home in California. Magpie robin has different coloration in different areas in Madagascar. This baby Sifaka is just about six months old, being able to start to leave its mother. During courtship, the harrier hawk will sky dance with its partner. Many Sifaka species live in large groups, and this comes with some advantages, predator detection, and also protection for other members of the group. For example, a scientist witnessed one of these Sifakas being wrapped up and attacked by a ground boa. The other members of the group then came over and bit and scratched the boa until it let go. These Sifakas can live for up to 30 years. And because of that, group structure becomes very important. The females are going to lead the group, as we discussed earlier, and the males are not going to be able to have that same authority. They often will get kicked out of the group just about every eight years. This can actually often be quite violent, with the females pecking and attacking them until they leave. When the males are allowed in the group, they have to have complete subservience to the females, letting the females pick which foliage they want to eat before the males touch any. The males also have to show subservience in other ways. They have to cower on the ground below the female, tuck their tail in between their legs, and utter soft vocalizations. The poor males don't even get a break when it comes time to mate. Oftentimes they will fight over a female, and the female will end up not even choosing the winner. Part of this mating process is letting other individuals know that you're available, and that involves rubbing their scent glands on different trees. These Sifakas almost always mate from January to February. That's why you can see that all the babies are right around the same age. For the most part, the mothers take care of the babies, feeding, carrying them around, but occasionally they'll offload it to one of the males, and he might use that as leverage during next mating season sounds similar to humans? Sifakas are in the primate family, and when you get down to it, we're all quite similar. These Sifakas often communicate using vocalizations. For example, they'll bark or growl when there's a predator in the vicinity, and they'll let out a long shrill cry if they ever get separated from the group. Enjoy these beautiful Sifakas, and watch the little one having fun. Mated pairs of the magpie robin will sing duets. Ooh, somebody found lunch. 
Unlike many of the other lemur species, these are not necessarily governed by a female. Like many geckos, these guys make a noise by clicking their tongue. These birds are always solitary, except when it's time to mate. Madagascar is just as beautiful from above as it is from the ground. See you later, chameleons. It's a long journey home. Hey, California is beautiful too. Our very own version of the fossa, with tags behind the ears to show it's been studied. This graphic details why Madagascar has so many endemic species. It's been separate from any mainland for the last 88 million years, which means there's been plenty of time for things to evolve. Thank you from me and this beautiful tortoise.